Right, um, West Somerset District Council's offices in Willerton in Somerset and I'm about to speak to a lady called Cecily Collingridge. Um, Cecily, can you tell us what it is that you've got there in your hand, what this report is about? This is a report written by Professor Chris Busby and myself that shows that there is evidence of significant enriched uranium atomic fuel contamination of the Hinkley Point site. Um, it was only sent in last night to the council, so I am here to ensure that they have actually received it. So I have a printed copy for them. I'm asking them that they order all work that's ongoing on site to cease. Okay. They have a duty of care to, in, to protect public health. Uh, and even though this may need to be evaluated, they need to err on the side of caution and therefore stop all activities on the Hinkley Seaside. And that's what you would hope would happen from this report being handed in today, that they would protect the workers' safety and suspend the, the building works that are going on to, in order to investigate the findings of your report further. Could you elaborate a little bit, Cecily, um, for people who don't understand much about radioactivity, about what it is that's so significant that's inside your report? EDF's analysis say that it's natural uranium or that the isotopes have reached secular equilibrium. Our analysis shows that it isn't and it's enriched uranium that's been found, 10 tonnes of it, on a very small area which is just the northern half of the whole application site. Indications show that the closer to the surface you look, the concentrations increase. However, the very top layer of the ground, we couldn't find the data, and we have put in a freedom of information request to EDF for that data so that further analysis can be done. OK, we understand that we can't come into the side of the building and film Cecily, so uh, we'll just hang around outside here a moment while you go and take in your report. What did they make of your report? They didn't have an opportunity to read it, but they are going to ascertain who are the correct people for this request that the council stops all activity on the Hinkley side. This is a public health issue. So it's the, this, the report I've handed in may not necessarily be going to the planning. I think I got the message across that this is a serious issue and it needs to reach the right people as soon as possible. So off to EDF's offices next then, Cecily. Next stop. I think so, yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Two, three. EDF off! <laughs> So after loads of hassle trying to get in there and having to be escorted by a police officer, um, I went in and it was the same guy that I saw previously, I think his name's Ross, and um, I went in there and I asked them about whether they'd received the report, they said they had, I asked them if they were going to look at it, they said they were. Um, I asked them, they said they were going to um, put a press release out. I said, well, that's great. I said, but you're not really like telling me anything because I asked him what was in the press release. He said that they, um, he couldn't tell me what was in the press release because he didn't know yet. I asked him about protect. I raised concerns about protecting the health of the workers and pointed out that you know if they're that they've been on the land digging boreholes and laying foundations for roads and. Um, and when I said about that, he said, oh, that was months ago, and to which I replied, well, actually, you know, the, the roads that you've put down are very recent. I said, surely you have a duty of care to your employees that if it's the case that there may be 10 tonnes of enriched uranium around the site, that, you know, to protect their health, that you should suspend any work um, while you look into this issue. Um, to which he just replied that they are managing the land appropriately.